Got it, Nick. Brilliant. Congratulations on a big win. Great finish. Um, talk through the emotions right now. Oh, uh, massive emotions. A big, big win. Um, bit of pre- obviously, we took the fight on a bit of short notice. Um, pressure coming into the fight. I've had a mad little day. But to get the finish against Macron there was, was, was big for me. Massive for my career. What's, what's up with the mad little day? I don't know, man. I just, I just, I don't know. I don't think, I, couldn't, I can't explain the emotions to you, really. Um, I just felt a bit sick and just like, I just felt a bit weird today. Um, maybe just the magnitude of the fight, the event. I don't know. I don't know. When you're feeling like that and then you have a round, the first round doesn't exactly like go your way. Mm. Are you in the corner thinking like, oh, no. no. No, I switched on um, the first round and I kind of envisioned the fight to go like that. First round takes me down, stay safe, figure out his pressures. Um, I felt him breathing heavy when I got up on it uh, towards the end of the round and I knew he would fade slowly. In the corner, they said to you, when you're southpaw, he doesn't want to take you down, when mm-hmm. your thrust does. So knowing that, did you deliberately switch and throw the knee at the same time because you saw what he would shoot in or did you see him and just react? Yeah, um, when I went southpaw through an overhand left, he didn't like what come at him. It was a, it was a heavy left. Um, and I seen him, I fainted again and he dipped his head. And I knew straight away, faint, throw the knee, game over. Oh, he's down for a while as well. I know, I know. Hope uh, he's good. Macron's one of those guys, right, where I think maybe, you know, you guys are on the prelims, but anyone who watches MMA knows he's a really good guy and, and this is a great win for you, right? Of course, man. Um, Barbos have come off a loss and beat beat him, went the distance and went top 15 straight after. Everyone knows what Macron does, who's Macron's been in there with. It's a, it's a big win. So knowing that, what do you want next? Who, who are you looking at in the rankings and what are you trying to get with this win? I'm looking at the journey, my, my route to the title. So I'm not looking at anybody in specific, but um, anybody in that between t- 10 and 15 would be great for me. I know it's a bit fresh right now, but um, there's reports that maybe March could be a return to the UK, maybe. Would you be like to get on that one? I'm the bad luck charm for London. Every time I've been booked for London, it's been cancelled. I think that's three times now. So okay, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> leave me out. Abby, Abby for you. Yeah, Abby, Abby, man. Cheers, man. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, going off that, this is your fourth fight in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Is this all just like this is not a big deal for you anymore flying? Because some fighters, obviously in the US, they kind of dread the flight, the preparation, and everything. But this is nothing you know, right? It's all I know. So it's all I know. It's, I, I just know that seven hour flight. Get to Abu Dhabi, feel the heat, get in the whole nice hotel. Like I've been through it, so it's nothing new to me. It's gonna be weird having to fight somewhere else after what four fights in a row. Yeah, it will be, but um, I'm a fighter. It's, it's all about what happens in that cage. As soon as you get in that cage, nothing else matters. And I know you said you, you don't have a lot of names you want specifically, Mark, but are you hoping for at least a ranking next year, maybe at this point? Yeah, of course. I just finished Mac on a um, Americani, man. Of course, I deserve a ranking now. I fought four of the best guys outside of the top 15. Four of the best guys. Zuba, um, Tukuga, Ramos, who are fighting on this card. Um, Douglas Silva and Jari just got a knockout the other day. 26 and 3 or whatever he is. Um, I fought all the best guys outside of the top 15. I, I definitely deserve a shot. Congratulations. Oh, actually, one more. Uh, some people said there's a little bit of, they felt some tension when you guys faced off. Was there anything between you guys or is it just the game? It's just a game. I was just showing him that I'm I'm here and I don't I'm not I don't care. I'm just showing him I'm here. But, um, you mentioned there about you felt a weird pressure or whatever, or maybe a pressure today. How much stronger do you think you're gonna be for coming through that in such fashion that you did? It's a it's a good experience that I felt I felt like that. I felt I felt flat in the changing room like I couldn't just I just couldn't get going almost and then um as soon as I got out there it's fight time, I'm ready to fight. Um, my first round, obviously, like like you see, I just bided my time and I just seen the seen the motions, seen the motions, and I knew second round step it up. I was, I was calm in my corner. The corner gave me some clean um, instruction. I was calm. I took it all in, and I knew it's time to go now. Have you ever felt like that before? Nah, I never felt like that before. No. And look, obviously, this incredible backstory that everyone makes a lot of, and so they should, but. How much do you think a win like this kind of shifts the focus on obviously how talented you are? That's what, that's what I've said from the get go. I don't want people to um, look at me as like the, the guy that's been through whatever, whatever. But I want to I don't want people to look at me as the, the top fighter, um, the guy that's beat. Started out late in his in his life, twenty two years old from no back 